Hello, my name is Dr Ed Sutherland and I'm a lecturer in the Institute of Psychological Sciences here at the University of Leeds. Although my main research interests are in reasoning and decision making and the psychology of design, I want to talk to you today about an altogether different topic, false confessions to crimes. There are a number of important aspects to this topic and we will look at each of them in turn. Over the course of this podcast, I want to cover the following topics. The importance of confessions in the legal system. The implications of making a false confession. Interrogation techniques used by the police to elicit confessions. Different types of false confessions and experimental recreations of false confessions in the psychology laboratory. Another podcast in this series has covered the nature of eyewitness testimony. That is, the evidence given by a witness to some crime or other. If you have already seen this podcast, then you will have some important knowledge about eyewitness testimony. But let me summarise some of the important aspects for you here. The identification of a suspect by a witness is compelling evidence for a jury and typically has a powerful effect on their verdict and is sometimes the only evidence used to ensure a conviction. Wells and Olson, 2003. Despite the fact that it has been frequently and repeatedly demonstrated by psychological research that eyewitness testimony is fallible and error prone such as the extensive work of Elizabeth Loftus, who has shown that eyewitness testimony is open to numerous errors. In a similar way, a confession by a suspect is also seen as a very powerful piece of evidence by a jury. If someone confesses to a crime, then they must surely be guilty, is the assumption that is usually made. It is an admission of guilt and is rarely questioned. While it is the case that the majority of confessions are likely to be true, there is some evidence to suggest that false confessions are made, where people who have not committed a crime have nonetheless admitted their guilt.